there was a couple of things that really pulled me towards it. Um, I found it really interesting that a lot of um, a lot of the King Kong films, there's this dynamic of he 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 sort of falls in love with um, you know a beautiful lady and wants to save her, and that's the kind of thrust of the film. You know, often a blonde, beautiful lady, and uh, there's a sort of uh, you know I think I find that. Uh, th this one was really interesting because the the person that Kong has the most intimate relationship with is a, a child and a deaf girl. And I, you know, when I found out that they had um, someone who was legally deaf, Kaylee, playing the part, I thought that was really interesting and valid. And I was like, yeah, right, right on, actually, <laughs> for doing that. And um, I, and then I realized that the character they wanted me to play was a sort of Jane Goodall-ish type of figure, but for King Kong, which I thought was pretty interesting. I thought this was, this was a kind of iteration of this movie where the women had, there, w there was something different. And, um, you know, I, I, I like that about it. Well, on screen, she's, you know, she's, uh, she's part of the Iwi indigenous people of Skull Island um, who, whose parents were killed and she was left alone on the island. And my character, who's an anthropological linguist, uh, found her and understood the trauma that she'd gone through and decided to adopt her and look after her because there weren't really any other options. Um, and so I'm effectively her mother, but it's it's a slightly funny setup because obviously I'm, I have been raising this child on Skull Island for 10 years, or not 10 years actually, but you know, five maybe and five of the 10 that I've been there anyway. So it's a sort of unusual mother-daughter dynamic, but quite a, a, a fun one. We find them at odds because uh, on the way to Hollow Earth, <laughs> Godzilla is on the loose and there's a sort of theory held by actually Eileen Andrews in her anthropological capacity that that they that, that the Titans will find each other out, and that there is a long-held um, battle between. There's an ancient rivalry between these figures, and so if we put them in a vicinity, they'll probably find each other, and it'll probably go a bit pear-shaped. Um, and she's right. The major thing to be excited about this movie is that you know two two of these classic monsters that have cropped up on our screens for years and years and years um, are, are going head to head. I mean, the, the, the film's about them. I'm not, you know, I'm not going <laughs> to think it's, that's really so exciting uh, just to see that and the spectacle of that and everything that's going to happen around it. But what's clever about this one is that on top of that general excitement is there's, there's a really good story and there's some really fun, interesting characters. It's not, you know, there's not your standard uh, the archetypal heroes and villains. It's all very um, unexpected and fun. And there's actually quite a lot of humor in it. Adam is great. Um, I, 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 I met him a, a while ago, actually, because he directed a, a, a very close friend of mine, Dan Stevens, in a film that he made, um, The Gift. And so I met him. I went to visit Dan on that set, actually, because I was shooting something in the same area. And I met Adam then. It's such a great cast. It's a really, really great company of people. I mean, I think that uh, these films are really uh, clever at casting very uh, good actors and actors who you don't suspect, expect to see cropping up in, in films like this in some respects. Um, and there is just like a whole range of really um, brilliant people in this one, um, Alex included. And I've actually always wanted to work with him. He's, he's a, I've always thought he's really a compelling actor and interesting and... Um, so yeah, it's been great. And he's really tall, which is always a bonus for me because I'm really tall and usually that's, it can be lonely out there. Kaylee is number one, a really good actor. She is as instinctive and brilliant as you could be given those circumstances. I mean, she really is very, very, very talented. So she's incredibly rewarding to work with as an actor. Like she gives so much. Um, and that, you know, like she, as I've got to know her better, uh, I've realized that she's extremely funny and, uh, and, and playful and she's just a great kid to be around. And so 
I would, I feel proud to say we have become friends. 